Everybody's number one zombie human OTP is, of course, no other than the z Lyson, who is back for the fourth film of Disney's installment, Zombies, and here's what you need to know. The Zombies threequel movie was a hit among Disney fans. It had everything that every Disney movie hallmark had, a fresh, cute, great chemistry couple and a plot that leaves a huge impact on each viewer. There's no wonder how almost every Disney movie leaves us with a light heart and a smile on our faces. You don't need to worry about grabbing a tissue at all. I love you, Zed. I love you too. The rumor mill has been churning, whispers are heard, and a gasp has been released. Everyone's all-time favorite Zombies 3 might be the final and last installment of the Zombies movie, but fret not because the mill is churning some more and it looks like a fourth film is in the talks. Following the release of the first Zombies movie on the screens in 2018, the installment rapidly became one of the most well-liked among avid Disney Channel fans and has since produced two sequels. A cheerleader who has kept her identity a secret her entire life and a zombie football player out to change the world? That undoubtedly had some kick to it and it has songs too, with the release of Zombies 3, Zed and Addison are starting their senior year at Seabrook High. The Zedison fans are understandably eager to find out what, if anything, will happen next to their favorite couple. Addison, Russell, and Wells, you are an alien! <laughs> With many wondering if there will be a Zombies 4. In the meanwhile, why don't we delve into what happened in the third movie and maybe gush about how perfect the two main leads are? Major spoilers ahead for those who haven't had the chance to sit down and binge watch Zombies 1, 2, and 3. And if you do decide not to watch, then you're missing out on a lot. It has star-crossed lovers for the lead, and it's a musical. What more reason do you need to sit and just munch on some snacks and get the movie rolling? On Friday, July 15, 2022, Zombies 3 made its way into Disney+, and thus started our crazy ride into the world of Seabrook, humans dating zombies, a zombie football player, werewolves, and a new addition to the whole craziness. He's never seen monsters before, but he's gotta recruit my boy, right? Oh, I I'm sure he will. As Addison and Zed begin their senior year at Seabrook High, the story of the infamous zombie football player and Miss It Girl cheerleader is continued in the third movie. The town has finally turned into a safe place for both humans and zombies to live together in harmony after years of disputes, and both Zed and Addison are eager for the next phase of their lives. The dreaded but looked forward to college. I'm fighting against intolerance. Oh, I fought mine by eliminating dairy. Uh, zombie intolerance? A monster in college? That's like a thing that would never happen, like ever. But no, no, that definitely was Zed's plan, be the first monster in college, which in turn gives opportunities for the other monsters to go to college. But in order to go to college, Zed had to have an extraordinary student application that would make the committee turn a blind eye, and that's where the new addition to Seabrook enters. Oh, I just got accepted into Mountain College. They're even inviting other monsters to apply. We are breaking down barriers, people. The alien's number one plan was smash that log button, or you know, search for a new home. Following the destruction of their home planet was the main thing to focus on in Zombies 3 Aspen, played by Terry Hugh, was in charge of the mission. They had to find a livable planet for them to settle on, and aside from that, the aliens were looking for a map that had allegedly has been left behind by one of their alien explorers on Earth. More specifically, yep, you guessed it, it was left in the Seabrook town. A little too specific, right? Well, the first thing the aliens said was that getting the map was the most crucial and significant thing they had to do in Seabrook. Zed's student application is definitely in their to-do list as well. That's after winning the Seabrook Cup, finding the coordinates of their new home planet Utopia, and making sure that no one, the werewolves, are suspicious of them. Zed and Addison then helped the aliens to locate the coordinates to Utopia in exchange for assistance with Zed's college journey. Zed and Addison then find the message that the scout left, who was then later revealed to be Addison's grandmother, Angie. Which kind of aligns with the plot because, as per the Zombies 2 cliffhanger, Addison is not a human cheerleader. Not a zombie, a werewolf either, but instead is, drumroll please, an alien. Ah, the plot just thickens and thickens. From growing up knowing you're a human to suddenly becoming one of the new species that came to Seabrook, I don't know about you, Addison, but this got my head spinning. You're beautiful, Mom. Sweetheart. But how'd that come to be? To put it shortly, her beloved grandmother fell in love with a human named Eli when she was on a search for a livable planet aside from Utopia. And in an effort to fit in just like how Addison was in Zombies 1, she attended Seabrook High and developed sort of a cheerleading obsession. Which then made them believe that Angie may have concealed the coordinates to Utopia when she made the cheer-off trophy, the Seabrook Cup. 
When Addison and her team manage to win the Seabrook Cup, the aliens decide to scan it to find any hints for Utopia's coordinates, but are met with disappointment. Addison then decides to reveal herself to be an alien in order to defend the aliens from the wolves, who are suspicious of their actual motivations. They sure can sniff you out if you do something that doesn't sit right with them. But it isn't a Disney movie without a great big plot twist, right? Addison is one of us! And she's amazing! The twist to the Zombies 3, however, is they smash that subscribe button and rang that notifications bell. But no, seriously, the twist is that the coordinates of Utopia were encoded in Addison's DNA, but unfortunately, she must travel with them in order to reach the planet. Zet cannot travel in space, thus he cannot join them. It appears that Zettison's love tale will conclude with their separation. Nope, hold back your tears, or wipe them away. There's no way that Zombies 3 will finish in such a way that it separates our star-crossed lovers. On their way to their new planet, the aliens then start to wonder why Angie made it so difficult for them to find the most valuable item in Seabrook on the day of Seabrook High's graduation as they're about to leave for Utopia. Addison then suggested that perhaps her grandmother had realized that the aliens should reside in Seabrook, the most perfectly imperfect place there is. Rather than on a planet with no conflicts, she made them realize how sometimes conflict can push us to be better as individuals, as expected from our Addison. But sometimes you need conflict. Need it? Look what happened once we overcame our differences. The Zombies trilogy ends in what feels like a decisive position as Addison has finally come to terms with who she is. The couple has a bright future ahead of them thanks to Zed's acceptance into Mountain College so that they may both attend. It's possible for a different species to move into Seabrook and alter the dynamic once more. Maybe vampires this time or sirens? But it feels like this is already everything that the three equal already needed. Cross your fingers and bring out your manifestation skills because it seems like Disney hasn't yet given the franchise the go-ahead, but it should be noted that they haven't also denied as of anything now. Zombies 3 does a really decent job of finishing off the installment's tale, according to Milo Mannheim, one of the actors playing the major character, and some do agree with the actor. Despite this, the actor expressed optimism for Zombies 4, stating the success of a subsequent film relies on how well-received the third film turns out. Unlike Zombies 2, the prequel ends definitively.